And as I write this, my words are daring me to throw up. I know that nothing happened. That what I'm scared of is nothing more than a hand on my leg. I exhibit PTSD from cuddling because I didn't know what that meant beforehand. Slowly rubbing circles and grasping at skin over clothes, scars that aren't meant to see the light of day, say stop. And he did. But not before exclaiming about my phone being in my bra, say phone with the titties if that's what you want and that isn't a turn on. I hate his words. They dare me to feel violated. My bra is my damn choice. Words dare me to be afraid of all the damn boys and I sure fucking am. The morning after, I was hungover. 10 p.m. turned dark quick. Turns out alcohol soothes panic. I'm well versed in, and so the night of the third date after I shut the door on his vulgarity, I became best friends with a vodka lovely called Brunasties. Because apparently, it's cheap. Like the language he enveloped my odd tomboy femininity in. Like the dabs on his counter that should have been strike one. The way he turned the lights off in his room, strike two. The way he looked at me, strike three. The way he locked his door, strike four. Used tore words to dare me to be a wholesome pretty. Six shots on a stomach that couldn't lock food down for shit. Seven in 15 minutes, maybe less. Don't be impressed. I'm not bragging that on the night of the third date I've ever been on, I got so afraid I bloomed terrified, hands still shaking, only now partly from being drunk and cold too. The thing about an experience is it makes new experience leg tapping. Tears skin around my nails, warns fail-safe technicians that overthinking and having a mind that just goes on and on and on and on and on will confuse me too much to notice that his first move the one I didn't think about until the morning after the third first date I've ever been on in my 20 years of life was a step forward, and mine, a step back. <laughs> <laughs>